I have a few. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, I'm going to try to keep this uh, interview short. Like, I, what I do is I post uh, all the interviews now on YouTube. Oh, okay. So everything has to stay under 10 minutes. Good man, yeah. Okay, anyways, first question. Um, I know you guys uh, like to write about a lot of optimism and stuff. So where you source a lot of your optimism, are you um, basing it upon a lot of the struggles that you guys gone through lyrically? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, like, talk to any band, I'm sure they've been through their fair share of struggles. And it's, uh, you know, we just we made a real conscious decision to say, you know, we could either get consumed in that negativity and just be all kind of pissed off or just, you know, turn it into something good. No, that's just kind of like, I guess the basis is kind of who we are as human beings too. So yeah, right. it comes out in the music for sure. Okay, well, because the one thing I know from, you know, running sites and whatnot that a lot of people respond better to negativity. I mean, where, where do you stand on something like that? I mean, I guess it's a more challenging question for you, I know. But Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, like, it's, I think it's, it's easy to be negative, right? It's That's easy true. to fall into that trap. And it, and it kind of, what's the old saying? They say misery loves company. Yeah. And... You know, it's just not who we are. I like if that's if that's what people are liking, then that's that's fine. But I see that, you know, it it may be kind of harder and not to crack to kind of get somebody to feel a little bit better. But I think once they do, you know, there's a different energy in the room when when you're playing a show, and you know, you know, like off the last record, I can I can say for sure we had a song called Beautiful. Yeah. You know, it's nothing better than having like six thousand kids yell, "I feel so beautiful today," rather than. I feel so miserable today. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. An, an energy that kind of happens that, that we'd rather be in that environment and around a bunch of people that are happy. So that's Pre kind of our whole our whole mission, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Um, now, being from Edmonton, are, is that a, a pretty tough town to, to, to be from? No, I mean, you know, I, I would say um, Edmonton is definitely one of the hot spots for, you know, our style of music. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we, we grew up there, so we've always had a lot of, a lot of huge support from, you know, the, the people there. Yeah. But, you know, you talk to really any touring band, and, and I think they all look forward to getting to Edmonton. So, I mean, you know, being a band is, is pretty pretty great. But, you know, on the flip side, there's not really any of the music industry there. You're right. It's not like Toronto, you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's no, you know, there's there's labels, but there's not like, you know what I mean? There's no a and signing bands out of there. So, right. I mean, so to be a band, we really had to start touring a lot and to kind of get out of Edmonton. And then once we did that, we realized, you know, it doesn't really matter where you're from. It just kind of, as long as you're kind of touring enough that people will, will kind of respond, you know? Right. Well, I'm, I'm sure being Edmonton, it's probably kind of a, a music star city as well. So you'll probably get a better fan support for a lot of shows? Totally, yeah, totally. Okay. Sure. I, mean, I mean, there's a lot of money in Alberta right now, too, so I, I think that has a lot to do with, you know, where I think where people are coming from. So, you know, a lot, right. there's a lot more shows going there and a lot more people are able to go out to them, you know? Okay, okay. Um, next question. Uh, you know, obviously you had your uh, previous album produced um, by somebody with a lot of experience, and you guys have obviously self-produced this newer album. Uh, are you finding it's a lot harder to do, or is it you get more out of it, or what are the major differences for you guys? Uh, it was both those, man. It was harder to do, and we got a lot more out of it. Like, um, you know, the first record we did down in, in L.A., and we did with some pretty notable people, Yeah. Uh, you know, and we were just more than fortunate to work with those people. It's fantastic. Right. And everybody there is really cool. So I think out of that first record, we just absorbed so much, you know, and especially you know, Logan, our bass player and our, our sound guy. But he, but those guys, they're just sponges when it comes to, to the actual recording of music. Right. And, uh, and you know, when this record came around, we looked at, you know, the budgets just weren't the same. They, they weren't, you know, it wasn't, we didn't have the cash to move to Los Angeles this time. And uh, so we just said, well, we can either you know, pack it in or, or just, you know, do something. And we just chose to do something. And we, right. you know, made this record ourselves. You know, we first started with literally renovating, you know, Logan's basement and turning right. it into a, into a studio. So that was like the first two months of that right. process was actually like drywalling and framing and stuff. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is going to be the last question for you then. Um, out of all the albums that you guys have done, what would you say the hardest challenge was? Um, I would just say, like, the, well, the last record in particular is just because, you know, there was nobody with any more experience than us involved. Right. I mean, we were just left totally our own devices. And, you know, that was, it was difficult because if, you, you know, you, you can't, you can't, like, you know, with the first CD, you have the movies, 
we work with people that have been doing it for 20 years, that have worked on hit records, that, right. that have, you know, opinions on, on kind of the way it's worked before and the way it could work again, you know? Right. And at the end of the day, those are just opinions, but, right. you know, this time we didn't really have any of that, so yeah. there was kind of no quick answer for some things. So we, we got hung up a lot, you know, on, on just real basic things. It could be like a, you know, lyrics of a chorus or just anything, do you know what I mean? Right. And so this time we're just really left to, well, we've got to figure this out because nobody's going to help us, right? And so we just had to push through that, and that, that, that was the biggest challenge. I mean, it's just, you know, kind of questioning whether we were good enough to do it. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, that's probably what a lot of younger bands are going through and probably... It will be setting a lot of new trends, unfortunately, I guess. But Yeah, totally. Um, that's pretty well it, man. That's cool. Appreciate it. Awesome, man. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.